everybody, it's Ron Bass with another edition of The Ron Bass Show, your source for inspiration, motivation, encouragement, and a whole lot of other good things to talk about. Mr. Producer, Mr. Brent Atterbury. Hello, hello, hello. Mr. Marketing Guru, joining us again today. This guy, uh, he's, he's our mastermind when it comes to these podcasts, so he deserves a lot of credit. Just saying. Okay. What are we going to talk about today? Well, you might ask. <laughs> Some of our subscribers uh, out there, you all, uh, are sending me messages. So uh, somewhere in all my notes here, we're going to talk about um, some of these comments that you're making, and we're going to respond to that. So one of our subscribers sent me a message about anger. We talk about anger all the time. Where does it come from? Why are people angry? I think it's probably because they're frustrated because of a, a lack of control over a particular situation. And that creates a lot of anxiety. That creates a certain amount of depression. And then I think out of that is the way to release that emotion is anger. I know in our, in our dojo here in, in Springfield, Missouri, at our martial arts school, a lot of these students come in, they're angry. And, and this is a great way for them to get that anger out is to hit the punching bag or to spar. Or to do, or to do jujitsu. So, um, the idea that uh, you're losing control is the comment. They lose control. They have so much anger, they go black. They just see black. And they're asking me, you know, what's going on with this? Why is that the case? I think there's some um, biology going on here. I think when you you get to the point that you're so upset, I think the brain kind of shuts down, and you just go blank, and you tend to act. When you go black like that, I think you tend to act in a very violent sort of way and you don't even remember it. A lot of my friends that are fighters tell me the same story, uh, that they, they they just, you know, get into a bad situation like a street fight and they just go black. And they they don't even know what they're doing, but they, they, they usually finish the fight and it's usually not pretty for the guy that's trying to hurt them. So my, my comment on this or my, my concern is that if this is happening to you a lot, um, you're really going to have to take heart and you're going to have to try to find some remedy for this because it's not going to be healthy, obviously. So my suggestion is to deal with this is to um, um, go to the gym, <laughs> for one thing. Exercise is going to heal a lot of, a lot of problems. And, and if, you, if, you, if you exercise a lot, you're going to be a little bit more calmed down generally. The brain is going to be a little bit calmer. And you t you're probably not going to get quite as angry as often because you're going to get some of this anger out of you. When you work out, you're going to calm your body down because you're tired. And, and when you're tired, you're not going to be as likely to be angry. That's, I know it sounds silly, but that's really the, that's really the case. Now, the other option would be counseling. You can go to a psychologist and spend a whole lot of money. I've done that in my past, and I've had some good psychologists and some bad psychologists. So it just depends. Sometimes you just have to flip the coin and hope that you get a really good counselor. Because not all counselors, in my opinion, are going to be that competent. They may have their license, but that doesn't mean they can relate to the patient. And the third way, of course, to control anger is going to be medication. I have a lot of friends that are on medication. I'm not sure if that's the best way to go, but it depends on you. It depends on just how bad you, you know, how bad you are, how bad this, this anger is. This particular subscriber said to me, that she just, when she goes black, that she just becomes very violent. Well, obviously that's not a good thing because if you black out and you kill somebody or maim somebody, you're going to go to prison. And so is that worth it? No, that's not worth it. One little um, um, thing that I learned years ago about anger is that if you stop and think before you open your mouth, sometimes you'll find that you can catch yourself before you say something you shouldn't say or do something you shouldn't do. So let's walk through this. You're really mad. Somebody's really teed you off. Just close your eyes and stop for just a second and think to yourself, okay, I'm not going to open my mouth and say anything. I'm not going to put my hands up yet until I have time to at least think this through for a few seconds. Is it worth it? Is it worth taking that risk that you might wind up in the hospital or put somebody else in the hospital? So just a simple little piece of advice that I've used in my past. It's kept me out of a lot of trouble because I used to have a pretty big anger problem myself when I was young, and it's not uh, not healthy. What's that use? I, I can 
safe. Uh, see, and I, I don't have that. I can't relate to it. You're so mild and mattered. I don't have that in my uh, DNA. It's, it takes a lot to get me upset. Uh, but um, I think that's part part of it is because of the optimist that I am. You but, are an optimist. But I will say this in business, um, I've, 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 I've learned the hard way that you cannot make decisions emotionally in business really shouldn't do it in personal life either but in business it can it can cost hundreds thousands tens of thousands of dollars so i Not always a perfect have an example of I, have a, <laughs> I have a rule that anything that causes a lot of stress or makes me upset uh i take a step back and, and don't make a decision for a day I give it a day. Oh, okay, versus a few seconds. Well, that's even, well, and that's, that's even better. And that's in business. Yeah, but it's still but, the same idea. But it because it gives me the, the, the next yeah. day. I slept on it. Yes. Then I, I can actually see all the sides and where this could go. If this yes. Is it a good idea? Not a good idea. But I, I did want to comment real quick. I feel strongly about the counseling because I think you have okay. to find out what where the anger is coming from. A lot and, of it started from childhood, that, I think. That, well, and that, that comes from a trained professional that can find out yep. where it's coming from so you can deal with it. Yep. Once somebody shows you how to deal with it, uh, whether it's through medication or through certain types of uh, 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 verbal yes. uh, things that they want to put you through or, uh, or it's exercise. Yes. I think finding out the root of the, not problem, but root of the issue of why you're angry yes. is super, super, super important. That's yes. got to be done by a trained professional. So, backing off, just backing up just a second here, I want to say this: that once you identify something in your life that you're not comfortable with or happy about, you have to hit this head on. I don't care what it is. You don't like the way you act. You don't like the way you feel. You don't. You have an anger problem. You're depressed. You're not happy with the way that you conduct your life. You're not happy with the people you serve. Whatever it is. You have to learn to manage these uncomfortable experiences and or these uncomfortable things, and you have to find a solution. I don't have all the solutions, but I but I know this: you are the master of your own destiny. You have to find a way, and that may be a combination of things like listening to this podcast, going to a counselor, reading a positive motivational book, going to the church, uh, talking to somebody you trust. You get the idea. Studying. I study a lot on the internet because the internet's basically like a book to me. And I'll study. So I'll take a subject that I'm interested in and I'll go to the internet. I'll study. I'll study. I'll study. 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 Get all these different opinions and get all these different surveys and all these different um, uh, facts and put it all together in my head and then I'll come to my own conclusions. So I'm not the guy that's going to tell you, hey, I know everything. I don't. But I understand the process pretty well. And I understand that you can't let things linger. You have to hit things head on, not sweep them under the carpet and kick the can down the road. That is not going to end well for you. So I'm not going to dwell on this, but I wanted to make that point. We all have to pull ourselves up by our own bootstraps, so to speak. And, and, and in the end, we have to really solve our problems ourselves. Other people can give you great advice, and this is one source for you. But you have to figure it out in the end and make your own choices and make your own decisions. Hopefully, we can have some influence. Today, I had a friend walk up to me at the gym. I've known this girl for, I don't know, four or five years probably. She's been through a lot in her life, a lot of struggles, family members murdered, children died, uh, bad relationships. I could go on and on. She's, she's, she's got a weight problem, but she, she's, she's got involved in martial arts probably four or five years ago. And I was in, instrumental in that process for several years with her before she wound up going to another movie. At any rate, today she was awarded her um, blue belt in uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, which is a remarkable accomplishment. And she came up to me and in tears, you know, showed me her 
her accomplishment is, you know, she showed me the belt, the blue belt. She was crying and, you know, thanked me for, uh, you know, for, for what I had, for, for the influence that I'd had on her in the beginning, in the beginning of her, particularly the beginning of her career. But the point I'm trying to make is that you, you, <laughs> you know, you have to work through these problems yourself. Nobody can really do it for you. But if you don't give up, man, accomplishment is, is the drug. I mean, that's, that's the drug. If you can withstand and overcome and manage struggle and get through it and get to the other side, you're going to be a changed person. You're going to be a whole different animal. And the way you feel about yourself is something nobody can take that from you. That's a powerful, 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 powerful thing, guys. Okay, moving on. On the, I'll talk some more about anger. One of my subscribers said um, that she uh, 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 can't control her anger, and she's not physical, but she feels like she has to insult others, especially when they are, you know, coming at her uh, with these bad comments, and she has to come back at them and be insulting back to them. Look, it's perfect to stand up. For, it's important to stand up for yourself for sure, but you don't always have to. Sometimes silence is golden. But if somebody's coming at you and they're giving you a hard time, you know, stand up for yourself. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think that's very important. I'm not sure hurling insults back is what you should do. But at least I say, hey, man, listen, <laughs> you can talk who you want to talk to about, but I'm not that person. Go down, you know, go talk to somebody else and talk to somebody. I'm not going to sit here and listen to your insults. I'm better than that. And, you know, sometimes people, if you stand up for yourself, they're going to leave you alone. More likely to leave you alone. Because they want to, Insult somebody that's going to cower. And cowering is not what it's all about. you got to stand up for yourself. Um, another person that's so angry, she winds up hitting people all the time. You know, you don't want to do that. You've got to find a way to, I know, you've got to find a way to control your anger, guys. You, you know, like we talked about, counseling, medication, going to the gym, thinking things through before you open your mouth. Uh, keep yourself more calm and collected. Maybe even by yourself. Work through these. You have to find solutions to these anger issues. Go to the gym. Go to the martial arts school. Get into boxing. That's a really powerful thing, too. We, we, box, we have boxing classes here at our gym. Um, and that's a great way to get a lot of that anger out, guys. It's, I know it sounds almost too simple, but it does work. Once you're tired, you're not going to be angry anymore. I, I think it, it takes also, it out of you. It also teaches discipline. Yes. It teaches you uh, how to uh, not react with emotion yes so I, I think I think those are also good things uh, that come along with it on a, on a negative thing negative side they say that aging that, uh, that anger uh, ages your skin quicker so wow so it's another reason not to be angry all the time because you want to look younger you look young as long as you can of course and uh, if it's going to age your skin then that's another reason not to get angry all the time. <laughs> Speaking of um, aging, I read this article. I think we talked about it the last podcast. If you just exercise, I said, 18 minutes a day, uh, you're going to be in the 5% group. You're going to be ahead of 95% of the rest of the world. That's crazy, isn't it? It is. And they said that people that, that exercise are still better off than people that smoke and drink. Or, uh, if you smoke and you drink and you exercise... You're still going to live longer than the guy that uh, that that doesn't that doesn't do that and but doesn't exercise. So I'm not saying smoke and drink, but I'm saying that you're still better off if you do that to still exercise. You're still better off than the wow. other guy. Yeah. Crazy, wow. Man. You know, vaping. That's another big problem, man. It's getting worse and worse. The articles I read and the, all the problems that are coming from vaping, because a lot of people, are, oh yeah, I can vape. It's better than cigarettes. I'm not so sure. It's got its own uh, problems. The way it hurts the lungs and different diseases that are coming from it and so forth and so on. At any rate, so much for that subject. I don't want to offend anybody because people get mad when I talk about smoking and vaping and marijuana smoking. I know last night we had several people that were uh, smoking marijuana in front of our building. And I said, and there was like a 13-year-old kid in this group. And I told these parents, I said, don't you think if you smoke, that kid's going to smoke? And, he, and, and I said to the kid, Have you, are you smoking marijuana? And he kind of looked at me like, kind of grinned. And I thought, you know, they're going to follow, the kid's going to follow the leader. Yeah. 
So it just it seems very responsible to me. Going back when I was a kid, my dad smoked. What did I do? I smoked. My dad drank. What did I do? I drank. My brother did drugs. What did I do? So you become who you surround yourself with. You got to be. Of course, when you're a kid, you don't really have the option, do you? But yeah. the parents coming up through the rank and having children now I need to really think hard about this. I'm not trying to be an old fogey, but man, that kid is vulnerable. You just all you. I think all you're trying to say is be a good influence. Uh, don't be a bad influence. Well put, sir. <laughs> Do we have any uh, breaking news? Actually, we do. Um, <laughs> it's something you know. I never thought I would even would even happen. But uh, uh, the, the headline reads: Amazon sold a used diaper. What? Yes, this company that sells swim diapers uh, for infants uh, shipped through Amazon a diaper to a customer. They sent it back. Well, instead of checking it, they resold it, and a, uh, a uh, mother and father opened the package to find a oh uh, diaper that had been used, swim That's diaper that had been bizarre. used. So, uh, and she wrote a bad review, and that company uh, has suffered financially wow. because of it. So, you do, just you know, be careful. Uh, if you own a business, be sure you check the products before you resell them. Uh, make sure it's not used, especially a used diaper. Wow. And then on a positive note, a positive note, today is Global Emoji Day. Global Emoji Day. And emoji wasn't even a word 20 years ago, but emojis, man, are those cool little things. You yeah. know, when you send that text like message the smileys out. The- yeah, so smiley face to you today. Uh, Ron. Yes, sir. Smiley face to you. I like it. <laughs> um, speaking of another positive, they say that kissing is uh, really good for you. Of course, we probably already knew that, but I guess it does something for the the brain that makes, that makes you happier. So that's kind of, not that we probably didn't know that anyway, right? They do these studies on just about anything. I, I, I mean, I, it's good for you, especially if you're wanting to... Uh, uh, get even closer to that person uh, uh, it can also have repercussions I just visited with a friend of mine in the office today he came through uh, Springfield on his way back to Illinois and he said uh, so how's your wife he says well they, they broke up a week ago they've been married like 40 years you should have said you Man. need to start kissing more you need to start kissing more <laughs> I said how do you feel he said I'm happy I said oh boy <laughs> just say when's the last time yeah. you kissed but you know, I, I I think about the idea that we all chase, you know, relationships. That we want to be in love. We want to love. It's just human nature. But I think when that's the, our priority in life, we're missing out on so much because you have to you have to focus first on yourself. You have to set yourself as a priority. Your mental health, your physical health, your ambitions, your goals, your professional life. If you've got all that in order. We, your relationships are going to be a million percent better. You're going to make better decisions. You're going to more likely to have a better relationship and get along with somebody better. Relationships should be based on respect. Not so much, you know, you're beautiful, you're handsome, you're sexy, you're sexy. I get all that, but in the end, that's going to wane. And if you don't respect your mate, it's not going to last. And we see it all the time. What, 50% divorce rate? Second time around, 70%. So once that feel good goes away, it's not pretty anymore, guys. But I'm not trying to preach, but I'm just letting you uh, know how I feel about this based on my own experiences in life. And if I'm not right, I bet I'm in the neighborhood. How about that? That's right. I don't want to ever say that I'm completely right all the time. or no. I know everything because I don't. But I have pretty good impressions based on a lot of experience. I bet these divorces and these people that aren't getting along, they're not kissing. <laughs> but they're not kissing. <laughs> Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> Mr. Dry Humor over here, I, I said it before, but his father was a professional uh, a professional comedian, and so he they appled us to fall far from the tree. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, well, how are we doing on time? Great, we got about five. We do? Yeah, or okay. we, we don't have to. Oh, we don't have to. Okay, yeah. well, we bored everybody enough probably anyway, haven't we? 
Well, uh, I told everybody about the Alzheimer's drugs, I think. There's two new drugs out now that they say is helping about 35 to 40%, slowing it down, giving you that much more time without the symptoms. That's pretty remarkable news. Wow. Yeah, and all this is happening like now. There's a lot of news about cancer treatments. It's all changing where they're going into the, the technology, where they go into the cell with the treatment, and they're changing the structure of the cell. I don't, I don't understand all the scientific verbiage, but basically it's technology that's going to, it's making a big difference when it comes to treating cancer. And you know, cancer is a weird thing. You think about cancer and heart are the two biggest reasons that take people out. And even, even if you're fit and healthy, you, you can still be a victim of cancer. Yeah. Heart, not as likely, because if you're fit, your heart's a muscle exercise the muscle, it's not as likely to fail as often or as quickly. But cancer, you'd be the healthiest guy in the world, healthiest woman in the world, and next thing you know, prostate cancer, breast cancer, liver cancer, kidney cancer, 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 cancer. I had a friend of mine that got tongue cancer. Yeah, that was pretty weird. I haven't talked to him in a few years. <laughs> not to use a pun, because he can't talk. No, that's not true. He can talk. <laughs> that's, that's terrible. That's terrible. That's terrible. That's bad. But I don't like this guy. Because he... Did he chew tobacco? Was, or no. I, oh. he, he, this guy was so rude to me. We used to be friends in college, and then he went cuckoo on me and got mad because I got in martial arts, and I quit going out to the you know the clubs with him at night, and he thought I was being stuck up. And no, I was just training every night. And then finally, he just he just got to the point, I just he was so insulting to me, I said, hey, we're not going to be friends anymore until you get your attitude right. So I haven't talked to the guy in a while. Hopefully he's doing okay. I don't yeah. wish bad on anybody. Yeah, yeah. enemies, right? Yeah. Um, I think he's able to, I think he, I think he got it at least. But the problem with cancer, you never know when it comes back. Yeah. I, I like, they ring the bell and I'm thinking, I don't know, it's almost like, like, oh yeah, it's all, it's all over, but it's not necessarily no. all over, is it? No. I think that gives people a false sense of hope in my opinion. I don't like I, that. I think you got to take the win. You got to take the win and say, I hit the goal. I made it. But now... I gotta still come back and get tested, and I, you know, you. It's you not so easy, program. is it? No, it's you. You you hit the first goal uh, of, of, of neutralizing the threat, which is great. Yeah, but 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 the doctors do keep you on track and tell you, hey, you gotta come back, you gotta get tested, you gotta get checked. So I wonder how much of this is a money machine thing, but I I don't want to be negative. I don't want to be. I want to be positive, but I don't know, man. I wonder about some of these things. It's like. You know, who do you trust? You, 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 you have to, it's really, it's complicated to find people that you can really trust in, in, in life just in general. But at um, any rate, so much for that subject. I'm, I want to be an eternal optimist here and encourage everybody to uh, have a great day. But if we're about done, I guess, um, yeah. you know, any last closing thoughts, sir? No, I uh, I think uh, enjoyed the podcast last week and uh uh, had our special guest on, yeah, on and Coach E. Yeah, enjoyed him a lot. Yeah, he's a good guy. We train every night together here in the dojo. And, well, the uh, problem is it didn't give you much time to talk. You know. And uh, you like to talk. <laughs> I like to talk. <laughs> I like to hear myself. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, okay, guys. Well, I guess uh, we'll wrap things up and leave it like this. So uh, just remember, if you don't give up, but you should never give up. I tell my friends all the time, man, don't ever give up. Never. Don't ever give up on yourself. Don't ever give up on your dreams and your hopes and your goals. Goals. Set your goals. Set goals every day. Set long-term goals. Set short-term goals. Write them down on the back of a business card. Date them and sign it. So you look at it every day. It's in your pocket next to your credit cards. And you, when you touch it, you become what you think about. So you recite it subconsciously over and over and over. It becomes to where you just, those goals have to become reality, guys. You become what you think about. So don't ever give up. I don't care how long it takes to your last dying breath. You should never give up on yourself or your goals ever. So, like I said, if you don't give up, eventually the stars, they're going to line up. I don't know when, I don't know how soon. That really is, doesn't matter. What matters is you stay the course. So until next time that we meet, stay positive.